So I'm gonna fire this uh, 73 up and get it in here. Remember the guys. Three down here last winter doing the interior and his uh I brought it down in the spring when I'm got done with his uh Park Avenue seats. This, this is a long baby, I'm telling you. They big, long. All right. baby down. Carefully. Guys, so I'm pulling this carb off of here, but before I pull that carb all the way off, I want to degrease this um, here. So, I don't know if you see that there, but I want to degrease this area pretty good in here. Now, I see what needs to be done in the back when the time come. Let that sit and then I'll come in here and spray this down some more. I just want to degrease around this area because when I pull that carb off, I'm going to tape off um, the ports to make sure nothing fall in there. Plus it's got to be taped off when I paint. All right, so I like this setup here. They got the spring on here. Uh, 
right, so I like that. It's got the spring on there, but uh, this back bolt, you can only get it off with a wrench. And it's getting stuck there because I think of the carburetor. So let me get this all the way up. Get these all the way off here. And uh, look like I'm gonna have to lift this up. I don't know why that won't keep turning back there. Maybe I uh, might have to cut the camera off. Let me see. Maybe it's just tight. There we go. Alright, but I like this little setup. I don't I don't know if they had this back when I was putting out a Brock on. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna have to go off camera because I don't want nothing to happen here. But Look like I'm gonna have to pick this up in order to get this screw all the way off of here. All right, guys. So I, I have to take my time and take that off of there. But all right, this carburetor should be ready to pull up off of here now. What is holding this thing? So first things first guys is that this is screwed into here so I'm not really gonna have to move that um, I'm gonna tape across the top of here to make sure nothing get in there I'm gonna leave that plate on there the way that plate is This side stuff dries up, so I'm not going to have to worry about this is just uh, grease and uh, wax remover. And all I'm trying to do here, guys, is make sure that uh, my tape sticks. That's all I'm trying to do here, guys. Nothing fancy. Because one thing you don't want to do is get anything, want anything falling in there. Then you'll be pulling the intake and everything else, guys. So I'm going to take this up pretty good. Always do. You don't want nothing falling off in there, guys. I'm telling you. More piece. We should be fine. All right. Man, I just want to take the razor blade, cut across. Nothing major. Same thing back here. All right, so with that, just the regular toothbrush, I want to get in here. I want to just Degrease all of this the best I can. You can use a paintbrush, but why this cleaner is here, 
I'm going to put it to work. All right, guys, so there's a couple of things <clears throat> that uh, I do, and if it changed the way the car run, I'll take them back off. But, like, right here, <clears throat> it's an open uh, plug here, <clears throat> probably for the vacuum for this system. It's not even hooked up. <clears throat> so... <clears throat> um, but I'm gonna just put a plug on it. <clears throat> and then this is the same thing for the EGR. It's got no plug. I'll probably plug that up. But then again, I might just leave it the way it is, guys. <clears throat> Cause I don't know if it's actually for anything or not. So I might just leave it the way it is. But I generally like plugging all of that stuff up, so. Oh God, so I smell gas so I got these little plugs <clears throat> that are brought here and uh, I just want to find one that's the right size <clears throat> to go in there So now that's going to stop the smell of gas from coming out of there. I'll wrap a little tape around there. <clears throat> and just seal this off the best I can, guys. Alright guys, so to get this off, see if this will fit down in here. Alright, I want to put that in there because when I pop this uh, fan off, I don't want it to come and hit the radiator. So I always stick me a piece of wood in there to make sure that uh, when I take that fan off in there that it don't it don't hit that radiator guys so let me come and find a wrench and uh take this off i'm trying to get this whole piece out of here so <clears throat> all right so what i'm going to try to do is we gotta pop the fan off and the fan is gonna probably drop so while i'm lifting up on these two pieces i need you to hold the fan <clears throat> and pull the fan out with with me Okay, you get what I'm saying? The fan is off. Just see if it up. You gotta wiggle it off. That's why I got the wood there where it won't hit the radiator. Although I, I might need to get a screwdriver. Or can you wiggle it off? Got it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so if you come to this side, now I'm going to lift up, uh, I'm going to lift up on this, and then you bring the fan out with it. You got it? Hold on. You need to let it back down? No, I just got to pop this. I'll just take it. Yeah. There you go. You 
You got the fan? Yep. Take a razor blade and but you can actually leave that on there. That's not gonna be in my way. So no. I just didn't want it to spill. Yeah, it's fine. Now, all of this gotta be clean and degreased and everything. So alright guys, so like I said, that's the reason I do that the way I do that. So you can pull that fan straight out. So now I see the plug for the radiator is over here, so let me, uh, I'm letting all the water out of the radiator. Alright, so I'm fine, I'm on, I talked to him, I'm going to put new heater hoses on here, so what I found out guys is this best to just cut you a good V in these make sure you don't mess up the heater core I'm going to just cut these So I say you're only back a week and he figuring out where everything is and I'm running around looking for stuff. So this will make it easier guys. A nice easier cut there. So yeah, just cut them off. Get them up out of here. Get a screwdriver, get this one off. Keep them the same length, that way I can uh, just get some new holes. Just cut these off. Alright. Alright, so I unplug this. I want to get that off of there. Alright, then it's got a slide on plug here. I'm gonna get that out the way. Then it's a bolt back here that I gotta get off. Then all I'm gonna do with 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 the AC, because I don't know if his AC work or not. I'm gonna try to tie it off to the side. And uh I pour 15 this and uh I just need it out the way where I can paint the motor. Alright guys, so I'm pulling these wires out of this car. And uh I'm pulling them off one at a time. They are tight, boy, I'm telling you. These babies are really, really on here. All right, guys, so I'm pulling these wires on this car. These wires are really, really on here. All right, guys, so I think I better come in here and show you. Uh, see all the oil? All of, I cleaned this up right here already, cleaned a lot of this up. I'm not going to be pulling the disturbing. I'm going to tape, tape this off. Uh, this would be painted, and I'll be scuffing that. Um, but I just want to show you, like, all the grease there. 
I'll be cleaning all that off the power steering, uh, the gearbox there. And uh, I'll be cleaning it all up, guys. Getting all this clean up, <clears throat> all in here. I'm just showing you how I come in and uh, take care of all of this. So, like, down in here, you know, I'll be digging all of this. You know, that's nothing but grease. I got a garbage can lid down there. You can hear this stuff falling through. A lot of times, a lot of rock chips and stuff get in here. But, you know, I'll be cleaning all of this up, guys. All of this will be done. So I'm starting on top up here first, guys. And especially around the engine. Because I'll be taping the whole car off. I'm going to take the whole car off. Make sure I get an overspray. But when I spray this engine bay, um, before I spray, I scuff all of this up just in case any overspray gets on any of this. Then I can just go over it with the Pour 15. It ain't going to matter because it's going to be scuffed already. But um, his... His... Uh, um, master cylinder and his brake booster. I'm going to paint all of that black for him. I'm going to clean all, all of this to be cleaned up, guys. So I'm just coming in here now just showing you the condition of this. And uh, when I get done, it's going to look like a brand new engine. I'll take a paint scraper, putty knife or whatever. And I'll take the most of this off by hand. And then that way... When I come in with the brake cleaner, it's going to just clean up, guys. So, just show you here real quick. See, all of that's going to clean up just nice. See that there? It's going to clean up just nice. So, all right, guys, let me, uh, I'm not going to show all of this that I'm doing, but I'll just be jumping in periodically just showing you what I'm doing here from time to time. All right.